Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and we are going to do a live studio shoot using Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. So let me tell you how we're going to set this all up, but first, we have Haley helping us back here. And here's what we're going to do. As we take a shot of Haley, of course, we're going to straight from the camera into my laptop. We're tethered. We're setting up Lightroom Mobile to where when we take the shot, it wirelessly goes over to this iPad so I can have the client here on the set. She can sit back there and take a look at the images as they come in. But I'm not going to send every single image to the client because I don't want the client to see if the flash doesn't fire or if I make a mistake or if I just take a bad shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up to where I hit one key on the keyboard. The image looks good. Not only will it go here, but here's the other thing. Let's say that we have another client. The client's out of the city out of the state, out of the country, in a completely different location. So what we can do is we can send a web link to them and they can see the images come in live in real time as we take them. So let me show you how we set it up. First we go over here to Lightroom. We're already set up to Tether. So all we do is we're going to create a new collection. And we'll call this Haley. All right, now, down here, this is really important. You see where it says Set as Target Collection? What that means is when I choose set as target collection, that tells Lightroom that if I hit the letter B, B as in boy, it's going to take whatever image that I have and throw it into that collection. That's the collection I'm going to sync to Lightroom Mobile. So I hit create. All right, now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose to sync this with Lightroom Mobile. Now, of course, you have to go into Lightroom's preferences and turn on sync with Lightroom Mobile. You have to go to Lightroom Mobile and launch the app. I think you've probably figured all that out. But if you look here, it says sync with Lightroom Mobile. I hit that and now any images that I press the letter B from now on, go onto this iPad and then I'll show you how we're going to take them to the web next. Okay, ready Haley? Here we go. Nice. All right, let me just see what we're getting here as they're coming in. All right, I'm going to hit the letter B. That one goes to the target collection. You saw on screen it says, add to target collection Haley, and it goes straight over. So we see an image we like, we just hit B, and it goes over. That way only the images that I want are seen by the client. Let's take a couple more. Nice, that looks good. All right, hold right there. Let me see where we're at. Ooh, that's terrific. B. All right, let's see how these are coming over onto the, uh, onto the iPad. Let me bar it back here real quick. All right, here they are coming in. And so anytime I see one I like, I can send them right over. Now, let's go look at the website. We're going to go to lightroom.adobe.com. Log in and you can see we had the shots I did earlier and then we had the shots that we just did now. We are on the web, this is a web page. And then here are the shots that you just saw on the iPad. They're already transferred to the web. Now, if I wanna share these, I can go right up here to the share button and choose sharing options. You can make a private link so only you can see it. You can share it with other people. You can send it to Facebook, to Twitter, to G+, and you can just copy and paste the link if you want, and it all happens live. So someone can be in a completely different location, and they see the whole entire thing happen live as you're shooting. And again, using this method where we use the target collection, they only see the images that you like. All right, here we are in Adrian's office, and I sent him the link so he can actually see the images that we're doing from the shoot. As they come into the iPad, they come in here too. So take a look. Here we are on screen. So here are the images. The same ones that are coming into the iPad are also coming up here. So Adrian can take a look. He double clicks on an image and it goes all the way to big browser size here. He can go through using the arrows to see a bigger one. Up in the left corner, he can play a slideshow. If he hits the play button, it just goes all the way to the full screen play size. And he can also share the link from here. He can share it to Facebook. He can share it to Twitter. He's got all the sharing controls that we do. Anybody that has the link can watch the, uh, the shoot in progress as it's coming in. So there you have it. That's how to do Lightroom Mobile from beginning to end. Thank you, Haley. And uh, there you go. <laughs>